Well guys, it appears that the much anticipated DJ Pocket 3 is about to finally be released. We've been expecting an update for quite a while due to the popularity of the Pocket 2, as well as the age. It is now three years old, that camera, without any update. And for the first time ever, it appears that we have legit photos and videos of the new Pocket 3 in action. So today we're gonna take a look at all we think we know about this upcoming Pocket 3, the latest leaks, rumors, and see if DJI has been able to make any meaningful changes over these three years. So the thing that makes the Pocket line of cameras so unique is the built-in, super compact and effective three-axis gimbal. That is the number one feature that sets it apart from other popular choices like action cameras and smartphones. These both rely on electronic image stabilization, which is getting better, but it requires a pretty severe crop on the image, and in low light, it completely falls apart. And aside from the stabilization in a small package, the other major selling point of the Pocket 2 was the large, at the time, image sensor, giving you a superior image when compared to action cameras and smartphones. And for the past three years, the Pocket, action cameras, and smartphones really dominated the consumer camera market. Smartphones have come a long way, and for most people, this is the most convenient and best quality choice. Action cameras offer a more durable package. You can also easily mount them in fun locations, including FOV footage. And the Pocket 2 in a similar size package gave you physical stabilization with high quality video. But as you would imagine, after three years of not seeing any updates, the competitiveness of the Pocket 2 is just falling off a cliff. The screen is really looking old, and the image sensor is no longer anything better than modern action cameras and smartphones. But luckily it appears that DJI is directly addressing this with the Pocket 3. I'll leave this article linked down below, but the title here is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 rumored to launch with a one inch camera sensor and rotating display. So the old Pocket 2, the image sensor was one over 1.7 inches. That was decent in 2020, but now even the latest action camera from DJI has a bigger image sensor. Theirs is one over 1.3 inches. In fact, this camera right now is my go-to main device because the image quality is just that good. But the Pocket 3 is rumored to leapfrog this and go all the way to a one inch image sensor. So for the first time, that puts the Pocket 3 against very capable compact cameras like the Sony RX100. And these cameras have a reputation for having amazing image quality. And I'm not saying that the image quality of the RX100 is going to be the same as the Pocket 3, as there's many factors that affect the image quality, but just in terms of the sensor size, which is probably the single biggest contributor to final image quality, they are now equals. But you also have to remember the Pocket 3 puts this sensor on a three axis gimbal. And stabilization has always been where these compact cameras struggle the most. You could always put the RX100 on a three axis gimbal, but the whole package looks like this, versus this. It's also worth mentioning that the Pocket 2 has an aperture of f1.8. That is extremely impressive. The Action 4, the aperture is only 2.8, and it's really gonna help you get the most out of that new one inch sensor, both in terms of letting more light through and enabling that shallow depth of field effect. So with the Pocket 3, if they maintain the same f1.8 aperture, and they deliver on this one inch image sensor, the final image quality I can see being comparable to much more expensive mirrorless cameras. It also appears that DJI is redesigning the display entirely into this very unique rotating design. This allows them to include a much larger display and it should make filming both vertical and horizontal video for different social media platforms very seamless. We don't know exactly how big this display is, but it looks to be at least twice the size as the Pocket 2. And this right here is what we think is the leaked product description. So of course, we have a handheld three-axis gimbal. The biggest upgrade by far is that one-inch image sensor, and they claim here it also supports 10-bit D-Log. So that should give you better colors as well as improved dynamic range. And the Action 4 by DJI has a very similar high dynamic range. And again, I think the image quality from that device is very good. So I have very high hopes for the Pocket 3. They say right here that it's equipped with a unique rotating touchscreen design. Through the screen, you can preview the shooting screen, set camera parameters, and easily switch between horizontal and video shooting modes. The body is equipped with three microphones to record stereo sound and realize intelligent wind noise reduction. And importantly, they mention here that the Pocket 3, as expected, can accommodate uh, external microphones. Now there's nothing official on the launch date, but the Pocket 2 was released in October 2020, just in time for the holiday season. 
And I wouldn't be surprised if they do a very similar thing with Pocket 3, which means we could possibly see the Pocket 3 release sometime this month. I'm super excited. I'm waiting with my credit card in hand, ready to buy this thing, because with that bigger one inch image sensor, the bigger display, the three axis gimbal, this can clearly outperform my Action 4 in essentially every category. I might even try to use it for mounted POV footage because again, the image quality, especially in low light, it's just gonna be so much better. If you wanna see the official review once this comes out, make sure you are subscribed, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.